of Caribbean duck with some more flavorful awesomeness today we're doing this awesome ribs with a tamarind glaze so stay tuned we're gonna go into this recipe this is what we're working with nice delicious and the wife hooked up this so stay tuned we're going in with our tamarind pulp that you can get at any um, variety store or any ethnic store. The big grocery stores sometimes have it. Scallions, onions, garlic, a nice fat scotch bonnet pepper, some honey from our friends at uh, Sandy's Backyard Kitchen and Adventures, uh, some thyme, and we have an orange that we're gonna zest, brown sugar, ketchup and of course a container so we can keep all this goodness the onion just as well and a nice pot that we're gonna render everything down in so let's go so we're gonna get our heat on in a nice pot where we're gonna add one cup of water now we're gonna put this on low to medium heat get our tamarind paste out of the package now keep in mind this tamarind paste that I'm using here has a lot of sugar I don't know if you're able to see it, but it's uh, almost like tamarind ball kind of consistency. So we're just gonna get that out of the package and get it melted and start the rendering down process to make our sauce. We're making it glazed here. So we're gonna add all our ingredients slowly on low heat and let it cook down. Save our buds to replant. And we're gonna chop everything finely. And just in case you're wondering why I'm using this little tiny knife, this is one of my favorite knife. It gets the job done and it's super sharp. And it's one of my favorite knife. I use it for almost everything. Comes in very handy to get everything cutting finely. Next, we're gonna dice our onion very thinly. We're grating our garlics. We got about eight cloves of garlic here because I like garlic. Garlic is good for you. Try to include as much garlic as possible in your dishes and the ingredients. It'll prevent you from getting a cold, trust me. And ginger, this is how we clean our ginger. Remember, the back of a spoon in running water. And that way we save all the goodness out of the ginger and get everything that's really needed. Yeah, we're gonna grate our ginger. Now 
And next we're gonna go Zesta Orange. We need a couple of teaspoon of zest. Give it a nice citrus flavor. And then we're gonna juice it. Gonna juice this orange, which is very sweet. We need a little citrusy, tangy flavor for our glaze. Bring out all that flavor from our meat. Remember we had our meat uh, marinating with all-purpose seasoning, Caribbean duck style, for an entire day, so it's gonna be awesome. Next we got some fine leaf thyme from the garden that I saved. Add into the layers. And then we have a nice scotch bonnet pepper from our friend Sandy's Backyard Kitchen and Adventure brought us this nice pepper and the honey. And now we're rendering, we're cooking this down. Adding our ingredients to this. Seasoning is going to add to our layers. Now we're cooking this on medium to low heat. We don't want to burn anything because remember this glaze has a lot of sugar. And next to that, get all our ingredients in. Give it a stir, make sure it's not burning. And here's our honey from our friend, Sandy's Backyard kitchen and adventure brought us these this nice raw honey excellent just for this purpose a little bit of brown sugar we want to get this nice and sweet and tangy almost like a sweet and sour sauce tangy tamarind flavor with the ginger it's gonna be awesome next we're going with maybe a bit a quarter cup of ketchup stir it in mix it up bring it up to simmer slow boil We'll get our grill ready, nice and warmed up, fired it up, warm it up, get it going. And I learned this little trick here to keep your grill and make it non-stick. Get an onion, stick a fork in half of an onion and you rub it on the grill, a hot grill. And your meat won't stick to the grill. Give it a try. Let me know if it worked for you. It worked for me. I use it all the time. Makes your grill nonstick. Bring our grill up to about 350 to 375. And our marinated meat that's been marinating for an entire day and my special Caribbean duck all-purpose seasoning. Here we go. Got our ribs ready. Now here's a trick with the ribs that I'm gonna share with you. You're gonna start the cooking process on a high heat. You wanna actually braise the meat so it locks in all the flavor locks in all the moisture so have it on high just for a few minutes so it locks in all the flavors and it locks in all the moisture and you'll see what I mean in a few minutes gonna see how juicy this is when we're done with it and it's gonna cook nice and tender so 
for the first few minutes high heat and just in case you're wondering that green leafy substance that's um that's some allspice leaf on the grill to give it that nice smoky flavor and it's gonna be great just because I have it I'm gonna use it and allspice is wonderful the leaves are so awesome it smells like a, a very good aromatic it's a combination of cinnamon clove nutmegs and it, it, it's it's so awesome so I get to use it and and mix my uh, meat nice and smoky and get that flavor so I keep it on my grill Our sauce is almost ready, so I'm gonna strain it out. Get all that good, awesome liquid out of there. Yeah, this takes some time. Then we put the liquid back into the pan, the pot, the sauce pot, and we're gonna render that down some more, get some more of that liquid out of there, and then we can use it on our ribs. And here you go, guys. I cooked it on low heat and glazed it with our tamarind glazed. Look how awesome this look. It's coming right off the bone. I'm gonna cut it to show you how juicy and well done this is. No pink and it's so tender and moist. Awesome. Finger looking good. So now the wife is gonna plate this up. You'll see how it look. Check out the tamarind glazed. And everything is infused in that. Awesome. Guys, if you like this video and find it interesting, please hit that like button, subscribe, and share. And this is some fresh orchid flowers from my backyard. Just a garnish. It's looking wonderful. Thanks to the wife. She set up this presentation. <laughs> and it's looking lovely and I'm ready to eat. You guys enjoy. Thank you for sharing. Like. Subscribe for us please. So we can add more videos.